So today I'm talking about a Honda with the 61-1 air code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is the Honda 611 code? Well, it's a battery voltage malfunction. And basically the onboard computer is just seeing an issue with the battery voltage. And this can mean various things. So I have to be troubleshooting a why. And some of the possible causes, well, it could be a bad battery or the connections. The alternator might be weak or bad. Could be the VSA ABS modulator. Could be an O2 sensor, electronic load detector, or a bad brake switch. It could be multiple things because it's something going on with the voltage and so when you get this code the abs light will come on and the vsa light will come on usually and it's very common that you get this code and, and then these two lights come on and so be sure to check your obd2 scan tool to help point you to the different things that could be causing this since if you get other codes then it can't help direct to the right component that's failed but the first thing to do is going to be to test the battery so get a multimeter and test the battery be sure that it's holding the charge and that there's no issues with that and a very common thing with this code and i've run into this problem is that the battery cables are just not connected good and it could be farther down it could be down like on the starter or on the engine block or something along these lines with the negative cable and that was the cause for me on a particular honda i got this code and i couldn't figure it out and then i was testing out the battery cables and I seen a small spark down farther and it wasn't on the starter and it simply was the cable wasn't on the starter down farther it wasn't tight on there and so be sure to check those cables and be sure there's no corrosion going on or anything like this and that that's all good because that's a common problem right there it's just these cables just aren't connected good and so if you check that and you check that the battery is good and there's no issues there then the next thing is to check the alternator and there's different ways you can test the alternator but a quick easy way is, is using the same multimeter is just start the car and see what the voltage output is it should be like roughly 13 and a half to 14 and a half is usually good you could google it for your particular honda since there can't be different alternator outputs for the correct voltage that it should be at but usually if you're at 13 and a half 14 and a half volts the alternator is good if it's not if it's weaker if it's below 13 and a half volts or like above like 16 then it's overcharging then there's a problem with the alternator and if you can remove it and take it out you could take it to the automotive store and they sh and they'll be able to test it for free so do these simple checks and tests first because these are very common with this error code and the next thing to check is go check your fuses since a blowing fuse can cause some problems like right here this is battery sensor it's a number 15 fuse 7.5 amps if that one blew it could cause problems and there's also battery management system fuses some call it, sometimes called bms and different honda is going to have different things going on with the fuses and how they're labeled depending on the year and the engine type and everything like this but basically go through and be sure that there's no blowing fuses and then all the connections are good going to the battery and everything like this in both the engine compartment fuse box and up and underneath the dashboard fuse box and another thing you could check too is on some hondas it varies a lot of hondas don't have this but some hondas do and it's this current battery sensor it'll be located on the negative battery terminal usually and if that goes bad then it could cause issues sometimes usually if you test the alternator and you test the battery and those tests good then a lot of mechanics will go ahead and replace the sensor to see if that's the problem like i said it could vary if your honda has it it'll depend on the year and the engine type but if you do you'll the next thing to do would be to check out this battery current sensor it's usually on the negative battery terminal and another thing that's been reported is the abs vsa modulator which is a small square module that helps control the abs and vsa system and it's this has been reported to cause issues so if everything else is checking good then this would be the next thing to go and check and if all those things check good and you're not seeing any issues with any of those things and other people reported an o2 sensor has caused the problem electronic load detector and it's even been reported that a brake switch has been causing this problem. So like I said, this can't be kind of a hard problem sometimes to, to solve and to, and to fix, to find the source of why there's a battery or voltage malfunction going on. But inside of my personal experience, it's usually something to do with the battery connections and not just at the battery farther down, like on the starter or going to the fuse box. You want to check those. Be sure that ground wire is really good and grounded good. And also check the alternator output and be sure that's correct. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Honda with the 61 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.